Hi this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode I want to show you the new Control Center in iOS 7. So Control Center is a new feature of iOS 7 that allows you to quickly get to some primary functions without having to go to settings or some app. And the way to get to Control Center is to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Now you have to do it from the very bottom of the screen. Matter of fact I find it easiest to actually put your finger below the bottom of the screen. like on the home button but not pressing the home button and then swipe up onto the screen and then control center will appear. Now control center is going to be different depending upon what's going on on your device and which device you've got. For instance uh, you won't see here the little flashlight button that would appear on an iPhone because I'm using an iPad which doesn't have a flash. But what you will see here are controls for music playback and it shows me which song is currently playing. It's paused and uh, I can you know, play and uh, rewind and fast forward and things like that and adjust the volume at the bottom of the screen as well. I can also uh, do various things with the controls in the middle. A lot to do with networking. I can switch to airplane mode very easily. Uh, I can uh, press the Wi-Fi button there and Bluetooth button to turn those on and off. Uh, I can also turn on the Do Not Disturb mode which is very handy to be able to access that quickly here. And I can do uh, orientation lock there. And of course just like with iOS 6 previously and the controls that you get to at the bottom of the screen uh, this is orientation lock because the switch on the side of my iPad is set to mute. If I go into settings and change that to orientation lock then this one would be a mute button. I also have AirPlay controls. You can see I'm using AirPlay right now which is how I'm screencasting this. And you can also get quick access to AirDrop there at the bottom by tapping that and you can turn it off or context only or everyone. So you can basically quickly turn it on to be able to transfer a file and then turn it off to not be bothered by somebody trying to send you a file. Uh, you also have some other controls on the right like a quick access to the camera there on the right and also you have access there to the clock. And then uh, finally at the bottom right you've got access to brightness controls which you won't see change here on the screen since I'm screencasting it and uh, you're not seeing my actual iPad screen. And to close the control center uh, you just basically tap that little flat arrow there at the top and drag down. And one of the coolest things about control center is it's there no matter what you're doing on your iPad. So for instance I could go uh, bring it up here on the home screen but I could also be inside of an app and from that app I can bring it up as well. So it's always there uh, ready for you to access any of the controls in it. So there's a look at Control Center in iOS 7. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. If you found this video useful there's one thing you can do for me in return. It won't cost you anything and it will just take you a few seconds. If you're not already at MacMost.com go there and then look for the video you just watched. Go to that page. Underneath the video you'll see a bunch of different links that help you share the video with friends. Take a second to click the like button. This sends a signal out to the rest of the internet that the video is worth watching. Thanks.